In stage 25, our main grammar point adds to what we know about questions in Latin. So we've already met some questions in Latin, um, but first I want to backtrack and just talk about them in general. So when we're looking at writing, questions can be either direct, um, which means that they're spoken directly to someone. For example, a direct question, why do you love Latin? And they can also be indirect, where someone is being reported to have asked that question. So we could make this one indirect by saying she asked why I love Latin. Um, and so these indirect questions are also known as reported questions because someone is reporting that they've been asked. So we've seen these um, pretty much since the beginning of our Latin studies, these direct questions, and they're introduced using a question word. So in English, we've got who, what, when, where, how, why, and so on. Uh, in Latin, they often start with a Q. So we've got quis for who, ubi for where or when, quid for what, cur for why, quo modo for how, and so on. Um, so we'll see these in direct speech, so you'll usually see them with quotation marks and a question mark to um, emphasise the fact that they are questions. Indirect questions in Latin are formed slightly differently, so there's three key parts that they need. The first thing is a verb of asking or wondering, understanding, knowing, and so on. Then they have a question word. And then we have a subjunctive verb. So we can recognize them quite easily in Latin because we'll see these question words that we already know, um, but there's no question mark, so we have to translate them slightly differently. Here's a couple of examples. So number one, Centurio nesciebat quis clamorem audi was set. The centurion did not know who had heard the shout. So the indirect question, who had heard the shout, um, and it's something that the centurion is asking himself because he doesn't know. Here's another one. Equites cognoverunt ubi rex habitaret. The horsemen found out where the king was living. Um, so again, the question they probably ask themselves is where does the king live? And they found out the answer to their question. Um, notice here that habitaret is an imperfect subjunctive, so we need to translate it as an imperfect, was living. So just to recap the key points for this video, uh, questions in Latin as in English can be either direct, asked in direct speech um, directly to someone, or they can be indirect or reported um, to have been asked. Both of them are signposted by question words, um, and it's going to be useful for you to make a list of these words. They often start with Q um, so that you can recognize them and translate them easily. Um, indirect questions, however, have subjunctive verbs in them, so make sure that you can recognize whether they're imperfect or pluperfect so you can translate them correctly.